Hello everyone, welcome to the second life cycle development model. This one is called incremental development model. The example for incremental model is the V model. So let's find out what that is. First, we have a user requirement, which is provided by the customer. Then from the user requirement, we write the system requirement. Once the system requirement is in place, we write the global design and the detailed design. Once the design is done, we will start implementing the software. These are the steps in this development activity. You get the user requirement, create the system requirement, develop the global and detailed design, and finally you implement the code. Now once the implementation is over, the software is ready. Then we perform a component testing on it. Once that is done, we perform an integration testing. After integration, we will do system testing and finally the acceptance testing. And after the software passes through all these tests, it will be ready for operational system use. As you can see, this development model looks exactly like a V, which is where its name comes from. Now, how is this model more advantageous than the sequential model? The advantage is that all these testing activities are parallel to the development activities. Let's take a look. These are the development activities and these are the testing activities. Once you have the user requirement, even if you have not done any of these other steps, you can start preparing test cases from the requirement for the acceptance testing. Similarly, when you are in the system requirement stage, you can start preparing for the system test. Since you have the requirements, you can start writing the test cases. Once the software comes, you can execute them. The process is happening parallelly. When the development activity starts, the testing activities can also start at the same time. Now, let's move on to the design phase. Once you have the design, you know how the components are going to interact. What are the interfaces between them? So, once you know all that, you can start to prepare some test cases for the integration testing. And finally, when you have the implemented code, you can start component testing. So this is how this development model functions. All the development activities on the left corresponds with the testing activities on the right. Here, you will start getting feedback as early as possible. Once you have the user requirement, preparation for testing will begin. This gives the incremental model a tremendous advantage over the sequential model. Now, there are a few points to remember. The first, incremental development involves establishing requirements, designing, building, and testing system in pieces, which means that the software's features grow incrementally. So, with the incremental model, you analyze and test the system in bits and pieces. Whereas with the sequential model, you analyze and test several stages at once. As an example, with the incremental model, if the customer says, this month we need five features implemented, then you will read the requirements for only those five features. You will analyze and test those five features and implement them. Then the next month, you will take up another five new features to analyze and test. In one month, it gets five features, in two months, it gets 10 features. This is how the software slowly grows incrementally by a few pieces every month. The second point is the size of these feature increments vary with some methods having larger pieces and some smaller pieces. So the size of code you develop for your software at each increment depends upon the need of your project. The third point is the feature increment can be as small as a single change to a user interface screen or a new query option. You won't be developing five features with every increment. You may just be asked to do one new line of code or fix one small feature. But even for that, you will perform a complete testing activity. So this is how your software will be built in increments. These are the important points to remember. I'll see you guys in the next video. Happy testing.